All right, one reason I really like this tent and part of the reason I got it was its integrated fly. So right now, all I did was stake out all four corners. The fly is attached. I have one single um, pole that's got two hubs in it and I'll get that laid out in a second and show you what it looks like. All right, hopefully that shows up. I apologize, I don't have my uh, tripod with me on this trip. So single spine, two hub poles that go across. It's just gonna hook right in the back, the two corners, the two corners up here and hook up front. And I'll show you what that looks like. All right, 30 seconds later, uh, both poles on each side. The brows are tucked in. Uh, the fronts here on the brow are using a ball swivel. Uh, there's one in the back as well. You come up to the hub, the hub is attached like so. Now the only thing I have left to do is just stake out both side vestibules and the back is the same. There's a very small just sort of porch area up front as you can see inside. Pretty good space, obviously wider at the front than it is in the back. This is sort of a lightweight tent so they're trying to save ounces by uh, making it not square. Big vent that is created here on the back. A lot of big mesh on the side and uh, the door itself has a separate uh, fabric panel that you can uh, take up or down depending on how much ventilation you want and how much privacy you want. So a lot of times I leave this guy uh, closed just because there's no vestibule here. It gives you a little bit more privacy um, if you're in a public camping area or you're camping with other people, but you can certainly open that up for more ventilation. Let me get these side vestibules staked out and I'll be right back. All right, there you go. Pretty innovative idea. Uh, the vestibules are big enough that I can get both uh, motorcycle panniers on one side. And then I usually do boots, maybe the duffel on the other. And that leaves me an entire two-person tent for myself and I don't have to share it with my gear. Give you guys a walk around here. See kind of that spine coming back. Again, nice big venting on the back. But um, here's our camp for tonight. Sun's just trying to go down so it's being awkward for filming. But if you listen, Not a dang thing. And it's free. I'm not paying for a campsite. So, overall, I'm um, pretty impressed with this guy. I'll show you when it looks like it packed up um, in the morning. Got two small stash pockets, one on each side, just inside the door. Very handy to access. All right, this is a Xtherm Neo Air by Thermarest. This is a long and wide version. Give you an idea, you're just approaching the head here so usually I'll put my uh, pants kind of right here by the door use that as a pillow with something soft over the top and then uh, your feet are right down there so it isn't the biggest or the longest um, compared to some of the other tents that I've used but um, pretty innovative idea you can see the side access zippers here for the outside vestibules so you can access everything covered I haven't tried cooking or anything on, in, on the side um, it's not quite that big enough. Uh, generally, I'll just pull the door down and uh, set the stove up right here and then just deal with whether, whatever rain I've got. Um, you can kind of set it up underneath the tree uh, to keep yourself kind of out of the rain. You could always throw a poncho or a small tarp if you actually need a vestibule, but the idea is that most people don't use their vestibules for much, and so you're just stuck with the, uh, the porch design. Um, because the door folds down, you are constantly coming in and out over the door, which isn't a big deal, but it does worry me a little bit of longevity over the door. Um, you can tell there's a couple tie-out points. The, uh, the brow pull up there definitely pulls the fly away from the mesh. The back is solid, so that's sort of a hybrid design, if you will. Again, you've got the mesh back there, and good breathability from the main tent body here. Um, from the fly, zero condensation, super easy to set up. Uh, you don't have to worry about sort of pitching it and then retightening anything. Uh, definitely stays exactly where you are, where you want it. Uh, the only real downside that I've seen so far to this tent is that the I wish I could pull these brow poles out. 
Um, it makes it just a little bit less convenient trying to get it packed into a small size uh, when you're putting it back into uh, the stuff sack. And of course with my situation where I'm putting it in a motorcycle bag, it would just be nice to be able to compress it down without having to worry about where I've got those brow poles in the tent as I'm rolling it up. Because inevitably as I'm putting it in the stuff sack, um, you know, I hit the brow pole and then it's got to get wiggled in there and it's just not quite as convenient. So I wish maybe those slid out. It would add a, you know, a few seconds to the setup time, but um, it's a small thing, but it kind of irritates me every time I pack up the tent. Uh, they are DAC green poles. Um, you know, DAC is uh, known for their uh, structure and I know Sierra designed as a lot of testing, uh, wind tunnel testing, but it also means that their stakes are DAC stakes. They're a nice strong V-shape. Um, you know, you definitely wouldn't have to upgrade these or to swap them out if you didn't want to. These have been extremely sturdy and strong enough for everything I've needed so far, even in some of the Death Valley, pounding through crooked rocks and trying to wiggle your way this way and that way just to see if you can get it in there. Um, definitely, I've, all the poles are straight as an arrow still um, from all the abuse I've put through it. So, very cool. Um, super quick to put up. Very lightweight. We'll see how she holds up down the road, but so far this has been a full season in the motorcycle and I look forward to using it further. All right, gives you a little size comparison. There's a 38 or 40 ounce uh, Hydro Flask. So bigger than an Algene. The poles and pegs go in a separate one. And then uh, if you tri-fold the tent up and roll it, it'll keep all those brow poles in line and it give you in the stuff sack. Uh, pretty quick, pretty easy.